Manny. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Manny. Hello, Michelle. Nice to see you again. Me too. And I want to tell you guys as a big, big, big congrats on the last letter from your lover. It left me longing and wispy and I bawled my eyes out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, it's like it's all in uh, not, uh, great tears of joy. <laughs> Let's begin with you, Miss Shailene. Wonderful as Jennifer. What attracted you to the role of Jennifer, aka J? I mean, how did you find her heart? Oh, I mean, I Jennifer to me is is a story of so many women, so many women that I grew up around. To be honest, because I do feel that that generation, you know, they chose marriage not necessarily out of love, but out of duty or security, financial like freedom. Um, comfortability and watching this woman transcend these socio-political norms and uh, you know status quos in order to follow her heart and her soul which was pulling her towards this man named Anthony was like to me that was how I found her heart that's how I found her it's you know she's she's somebody who who defied the norms of of her era and um I'm all about that and I just think that she's I think that she's so rad. And I, I think that I love that she didn't let the boundaries of judgment and the boundaries of suffocation stop her from doing what she really wanted to do. Well, but yet she knows her role in society though, right? And she defends that, I think, somehow. Yeah, I think there's a lot of fear. You know, there's a lot of fear for especially women who don't have a job or have been told they don't need a job or told not to work. And now suddenly... If she's going to, you know, she's going to follow her heart's desire, like how is she going to eat? Where's she going to sleep? What's it going to look like? Um, I think that she actually doesn't really care about the material as much as she cares about survival and your entire survival instincts kick into gear when you're told that you're going to be uprooted and, um, and you might be vilified for the choices that you make. That's right. No, what, what about you, Mr. Callum, the handsome Anthony O'Hare, AKA Mr. B, <laughs> what attracted you to the role? <laughs> Uh, well, first and foremost, it was Augustine because uh, I'd seen her first her film uh, and I loved it. And then I met her and I, I fell in love with her and think she's amazing. And she wanted to bring this like this a different sort of energy to the to the movie. Um, and like Shay said earlier, she just loves romantic movies and has watched all of them and, and can quote them. And so I felt like I was in complete safe hands. Uh, and then um, the script, when I read it, it broke my heart. I cried at the end. I oh. wanted these two people to be together so desperately. And um, I just really loved the idea of playing this, this, this broken man who meets the yin to his yang, meets the person who makes him feel whole again and, um, and go on that journey with them. Well, do you think Anthony is a traditional literary hero, though, like a traditional romantic hero? Um, I probably not. I think that he's 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 we, we meet him in quite a desperate situation. He's in he was a foreign correspondent for a few years living in the Congo, drinking his um, uh, his life away and has a near death experience, comes home and is sort of uh, put on this. Um, they would call it a puff piece. And so he yeah. would go and interview someone like uh, um, Lawrence Sterling uh, against his will almost. But because he found himself in such a terrible situation. Uh, last chance saloon. He 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 abides by it and is given another chance. And that, luckily, he does because that's where he meets yeah. Jennifer. You know what, Michelleine? I'm not gonna let you go without talking about the fashion. I love them, and you wear them well. <laughs> Thank you. He does. Tell, tell us about it. Like that, that's. I mean, you haven't worn any of those outfits, obviously. What do you think? <laughs> I loved it. I mean, I love. I love anytime you have the opportunity to kind of, you know put yourself in literal shoes of someone else. And, and it wasn't just the fashion, it was the hair, it was the makeup, it was the nails. Right. Like there were so many elements that went into creating Jennifer and the posture, the way she stood, the way she breathed. Um, all of those things make your job easier as an actor, I feel like, because you are, you are transported into this life, this other life, this other reality. And um, you, as like a, human being outside of all of that, you just kind of feel like a little kid on a playground or a little girl playing dress up as a fairy tale. You know, it's, it's what you want to do as a little girl, your entire childhood is, is dress up in a princess outfit or be someone else or wear someone else's clothes and wear your mom's makeup. And I got to do that for a few months in England and it was just magical. 
A big, big, big congrats again on the last letter from your lover. It, it, it's an homage to the art of writing letters. And now I have a date at Postman's Park. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Manny. Bye, guys. Bye, Manny. <laughs>